What's going on everyone? Hope you're all keeping well. Coming at you with another fishing video today. We're going to be showing you how to catch those giant bream, the rigs we use, the setups and the technique. So stay tuned for that. And another thing, go check out VJV Outdoors, Zimbabwean YouTube channel. Uh, link in the description below. They've got some really amazing short documentaries. Remember, if you haven't already, smash the like on this video and subscribe. Thanks for doing that. Stay tuned. Hope you all enjoy this video. Step one, get worms out of this disgusting worm farm. And they in here because you can see how gross it is. Okay, let's get worms. Okay. Worms are the best bait for tilapia by far. Yeah. And for and the they biggest. Like, and they live in really disgusting places. Disgusting places. You see this is like a worm yeah, farm here. Show you this one. These are red worms, huh? Yeah, red worms. So there's a big red worm. Yeah. Mm. Get out the lot. Lots because we need to take these lots of iron out of the worms and all of us will be fishing for beans. Okay, yeah. Okay. Let me do some digging here. Big one. Okay, so that's step one. You need a lot of worms. A lot. Because you need to put a lot of worms on your hook. Just putting a little bit is not good. You need a lot. And that's step one. Step two. Yesterday I was wearing the same Okay, so this, let's see. The amount. Okay, so that's our bait. We've got quite a lot of red worms. Shaping. Okay, so we're done with that. Okay everybody, so this is what the tackle you're gonna need for bream fishing. So we've got a small hook here, you can see it compared to my finger. It's just a small hook. And any sinker, this is a cut off, any sinker that's not too heavy will work. So now Mario, if you look over here. The first step is gonna be to take the end of your line and tie on the sinker. I just use whatever knot, as long as it doesn't come off. This is step one, and it, it's of, sometimes it's best not to make it such a strong knot because often the sinker will get stuck and not the hook, so it's best if you just lose the sinker, then losing both the sinker and the hook, if you know what I'm saying. So now, we've got our sinker on, cut off the tag, always cut off your tags, just is much better, just like that. Make sure it's nice and tight. Good stuff. Then you're gonna make a loop about that far. You want to make your loop about there, just so about three quarters of the length of the one that the sink is on. So you're gonna make a rig that's like this, then you just mark that spot and tie a simple granny knot in there, just like that. And now you've got this, right? Then, Murray, if you come close, to put your hook on, you take the loop, that loop there you see, and my fingernails are dirty because I've been digging for worms, so don't judge me. And then you put it through the eye, that loop through the eye, and then you bring it over the front of the hook like that, and down, and now you've got a solid, solid connection, just like that. And this, is your bottom fishing bream setup. It's very, very effective. Let me get ahead of me. Okay, so we're here at the dam. So Dave is just gonna take us through his bream fishing setup. This, the standard bream fishing reel is like a 1000 um, size. This is a Shimano, Shimano Sienna with, I'm guessing, you can go down to like seven pound, seven pound line all the way up to 20 pound, it doesn't really matter. And just any light, light to medium light action rod is great for bream. So that's David's setup. We can see some fish swirling over there. Murray's got like the super light, eh? Yeah, this is Murray's cool. got like a super short rod here. I don't even know, like maybe a five foot, maybe even less than that. 1,000 size reel, 10 pound braid. Awesome setup. And I've got the Assassin Edge 6 foot 6 with a Shimano Sienna. 
with 20 pound braid with a like 10 pound mono, monofilament leader and this rod actually broke I repaired it right here so hopefully it stands up to these big bream David is already so eager to get there this is the spot where the bream are so when you want to choose a spot you want to find a nice spot where some vegetation comes in the water we've got some structure and there's like a sort of a plateau out here and then it drops off so all the bream are going to come up into the shallow plateau and that's where they're going to be hopefully we get some those guys are already getting in so I better get in on the action Well, yeah, this bottom fishing method is pretty hazardous and prone to getting snap offs. That's what I show you. So, yeah, you could even do more than this. I'll just show it. See? So, you just want to load your hook up with. You could even do more. You could put probably a bit more just to make sure that these big breams see it. That's just how you load it up. Okay. Murray's going to get out there. Hopefully, you don't get stuck. Okay, there's been a fish swirling underneath that spot for ages now, so... Just want to be sneaky, because bream spook really easily. I'm, there might be a stupid bush there, so I might just get stuck straight away. Let me just try out here first. Just there. When you're bream fishing, you just want to move up slowly. Let it chill. Reel up the slack. Move up slowly. Up this Cast out a bit further. Yeah, I'm getting a bite. See that? See that? And fish on. Good bream. Tighten your drag a bit. Fighting nice and hard. This rod where it broke is easing scaffold. Straight away. Not huge. They seem like they give up and then they get another run. I don't want to scare Scare all these fish. Murray's stuck. Apparently at this time of the year they're all gorging up for winter, so it's a good time to target them. Yeah? If we catch tiger. Look how fat this guy is. What? Yeah, if we catch a red breast or something. Oh. oh my goodness, that's about as much line as I have. What a beautiful, big, fat, massive ream. Interestingly, it's got a red eye. But the tail does not look like a Niloticus at all. There's no Niloticus in here. It has one, two, Three spines. Beautiful big fish. Look at how fat that thing is. Look at that. What a beast. Just gonna let it go. Don't scare away all your little buddies. Go back. There it goes. Beautiful fish. Murray's got a fish on. Pull it away from that stick. Little Get him off that stick. Oh, no. 
Okay? Try to get more that way. So it doesn't snap you off. Higher. He's off. No, he's not off. He's off. He's off. Okay, I'm gonna get the net. Not too big, but he's actually So much fun. So much fun. Find a new beam spot. And we just want to make a video to show you guys how to catch these guys. Beautiful. Beautiful little guy. Big. Not a big guy. one. Very, very beautiful fish. You want nice. David's got another one. Hey, it's a monster, man. Nice. I'm just getting the booger grip. Can you hold it for a second? Okay. So everyone has caught a bream already, and we've only been here for like five, mm -hmm. ten minutes. Five minutes even. Just like a Mozambique fish, ever I saw one. All of these things are fish. Nice fish, man. Slab. Hey, Murray. David there with his bream. How big is he? He's fat, but not long. That is a this monster. This one looks like almost like a green spot. This, head this is a, this is too cagey. Look at the size of its mouth. Okay. Monster here. Jeez, David's bigger than mine. Yeah, sure, like way bigger than mine. David is a monster. Another monster. Very, very cool guys. Awesome fish. Let's get a nice release Looks on both of them. Okay. Okay, we'll go for it. You ready? There it goes. I'm gonna do mine on the side. Mine is gone. Okay. Mine's going. I can swim back to its face. Here we go. Lovely. Lovely. Let's now, let's see. That's a good It's not. Oh, I'm getting a bite. There we go. There we go. Fish on. Straight away, oh no. We've gone around the stick. Go on the side, so, so, so up here on that rock. I can't, it's fine. Just let him fight it out of there, John. Every time onto the stick. Is it back to back, Sasha? Yeah. I got it. Yeah, I'll land them. Land them. That's how you catch bream. It's not a monster by any means. Uh, it's, a, it's a female. It's a small one. Jump down, Murray. Oh, you, no, never mind. Don't jump down. Might be a female. Is it a female? Not too sure. Hey, it's a fat thing. Okay, so that was a nice little bream that I caught. It was stuck around that that stick, but we managed to get him out. Beautiful little one. Another Mozambique tilapia. Absolutely beautiful. Now we're going to release him. Quick release. Beautiful fish. Okay. What a cost. You're gonna... you... you don't just leave it in one spot. Yeah, the, the bream. There we go. Get it out, get it out, pull, pull, pull. He's out. Okay, let me land him. Okay, never mind, he's not out. He is not out. He's further than I think. Pull, pull, pull. So he's just out. He's there, a you've got him out. One. Just a little guy. He's a, he's a baby, but these things fight. It's just so much fun catching him. You don't have to go all the way on the this, boat. This one's a small one. Yeah, it might be a plassie. Yeah, it might be a plassie. can see look how cool that is underwater. Yeah. And the small ones actually fight harder than the bigger ones. 
Oh, David lost the beauty. Oh, just a small little guy. Just okay, so this is a very interesting fish that Murray just caught. It has this weird like black markings on its throat, which is quite interesting. And this thing. And this weird like, its eye kind of popped out. Something. It's, count how many spines it has. One, two, One, two three, th three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is a Placidus, which is a black bream. Pretty interesting fish. It's not the same as those other ones that we've just been catching. It's, it's smaller. It doesn't smaller. get as big and its lip is, isn't so fat. Yeah, okay. So it's okay. not rubbed. Let's release them. Okay, I'm putting it in like that. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. There it goes. Nice fish. Now I need to get another one. I've only caught one. No, you fish on. Pull it out. Get it out. Quickly. Should I have it out? Nicely. Yeah, right in between the two sticks. That's what I think. Worms are the best bait for bream. Small one. I was fighting hard. No questions asked. Worms are the best bait for bream. <laughs> it's not that small. Bigger than mine. Give a nice fight, eh? There we go. Nice fish. This one has a yellow eye again. Yeah, even closer. Ready? Just push it in from me. Pretty. Pretty fish. Is that a festival? Another beauty. I don't know, David will count and tell us. I'm sure you can cast a nippy. And just when you get a bite, the cost out that long. When you get a bite, you can get your own. He's such a density on this bird. It's like Susan. Get out, get out! Oh no, it's gone behind the log. Sheesh. I hate you so much, log. I just want to kill you. I mean, we had the option to get that log out, but we didn't take it. Oh, we tried. Okay, try going around that way. It's like a violin. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, it's yes, yes, it's, it's out. out. It's out. It's out. Nice. Now when it's out, you can just have so much fun. This is monster Mike. Monster Mike. Yes, I did. Yeah. That now. there is what you can call plagiarism. <laughs> that is plagiarism. This is a nice one. Beautiful color. Beautiful one. Let me grab the net. I just keep on netting fish for people. I never catch them. This is a proper Mozambique tilapia. Yeah. Can I have you caught two? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a proper Mozambique. Okay. Throw it back, but throw it back nicely. With care. Yeah, baby. You should pick this one. Oh, so. Oh, it's so fat. It's so fat. Like literally. Oh, my goodness. This is like today. This is what you can call the GT release of doom. GT release of a beautiful Mozambique. There he goes, nice. I need to catch a fish. I've been taking other people's fish off the whole time. In that gap, where's where the fish are? My worm came off, which is sad. Did you see it? Mm. How big is that one? Fat. There we go, getting a bite. And. Oh. This is better. How many kgs? Ah. Sorry. Two kgs again. Two nice kgs. two kg bream. It's fat. And blue. Okay. <laughs> Release it. Beautiful Look fish. Look how fat that is. Guess what? Look. I fixed it. They're like so, they've been eating so much, it's not even funny. They're done with spawning. 
And now they're fattening up for winter. It's actually bad how much they're eating. Okay, this is where you have to catch a full kg. Yeah. Halfway, halfway. You just need a big one that we catch and then it just needs to be packed. This is just like the best. I have to go and fish for the <gasps> I nearly fell. There it goes, oh, dad. Geez. I'm out. Okay, now You'll get stuck there. Wait, what? I think, I don't know for sure. Yep, getting a bite. Yes, fish on. Yes! Oh! This line is so useless, it's not even funny. Will you catch that one? It snapped my line, I don't even know how. Will you catch that one? Ah, oh, no, I give up. Why is my line just snapping like nothing? Look, just snapped, straight, clean. No, it's like snap clean off. This line just must be useless. Like, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? I'm just losing tackle like it's nothing. No cost? I'm gonna get a free Oh no, I give up. I said, well, something needs to be found, prove it. Found this jig head lying here? That's my jig head, give it back. Oh no, this no. is not fair. I told you, this is my fourth fish, guys, and I told you I was gonna get it. I hope you lose it. I hope you lose it. No, don't. You must lose it. You cannot get two fish ahead of me. That's double what I have. Don't let it get in the stick. It's already out of the stick. No, there's a pull line there. That's a bigger one. No, it's just more and fighty. Side look quite tough. I haven't even done tiger fishing, guys. All you've done is dream fishing. And of course, David, can this you is my fourth fish. If I land, it's my fourth fish. And all you need to do is just pair. And he's not taking drag. He's pulling off like three fishing. No one will ever beat my record of four for five. Well, I am going to No, do. you didn't. You didn't beat my record for 4 for 5? I am about to. No, you're not. I'm about to. No, you're not, because you, how many casts have you had? Um, Don't you dare say 5 casts. If you say 5 casts... I'm going to try then. fishing with a jig head here. Okay, do Someone catch it! That's your problem. Okay. You fine. You think that you... You need... Big? Oh. Oh. Go to another big green. Yeah, come and take your fish. It's I don't know see it. Okay, Josh. Please That's massive. The quickly. Yeah, let me just finish tying. Can you hold this, Ashley? Oh my gosh, I have four fish. Me? I thought you have five now. You're gloating, my. No, Did I ever gloat to you yesterday? This is now getting ridiculous. Booger grip? Why do you need a booger grip? Yeah. Okay, I'm trying with a small jig head here. Maybe it'll work. Oh, guys, fourth fish. Yeah, and I keep on getting snapped off, and I don't know why. Yeah, even me. Murray's the only guy who hasn't snapped No, like, when they catch the fish, oh that's when goodness, I snap look off. look how fat this thing is. Don't you dare, Matt. I've caught the biggest one so far. Two and a half kgs. Yeah, it's nothing. Nothing. Show it. Wow. Now it's just green. so fat and I'm so blue and so green. Shut up. <laughs> okay, you ready for the release, guys? Yeah. That's a very awful show release. Okay, let's try the jig head method. Now I'm gonna I hope you get like a five page of snap off. Can't even cast for. Josh. Ah, oh, I had a bite. I hate this. And this reel does weird stuff, like literally. No, this reel does weird stuff. It's not sticking. Yeah, that's the same what this one is doing. No, not as much as this. How much worm do you put, Mario? Uh, no, no, no. I like promise this. you, I'll show you. Yeah. Fine, I'll show you what I need. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, yank it. Yank him. Oh. Yank him. What is it, Josh? It's a fly. Mm. You know what, Josh? What do you need to do when they go in there? I got him out. No, it's a fly. So the land does not get in. Oh, it's a fly. No, this is a jig head. If you can afford jig heads, they work. Kind of. Murray, can you please come? Because it's going to come off, knowing my luck. This is your third fish. Yeah, and this rod is holding up to these big ones. How am I like, like getting the fish and then just like losing it? Murray wants to hurry up and get back to fishing. Oh, it's a fish! <laughs> no, do not. I'm trying to land it as quickly as possible. This is how you catch bream, guys. I've lost it. You can't rush. 
Oh no. Oh, got him. Beautiful monster. Absolutely beautiful. Thanks, Murray. It's a beaut. I'm not even bringing out the other camera to video now because we're catching so many. Or you just want to do. That's Dave Josh's fourth, I mean, third fish. On the jig head. Get my two feet out there. No, no, this is actually not fair. You're cheating, Murray. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know why. Nice. Mozambique there. One, two, three. It's like that. <laughs> bye bye, little buddy. There you go. I just need one small Whoa. piece of worm. Just this one. And I'll catch. When there's this many. Huh. Like a mazillion bite. Because we Because you? Lucky. Okay, I'm not gonna do the I won't be able to get a triple. On the jig head. You see Murray? No, I haven't. I actually haven't failed. <laughs> you did, you failed to get a back to back triple. Okay. Let's go again. So it's called triple. Do you know what a quadruple is? Oh no. It doesn't reel sometimes. No! <laughs> yes! Yes, 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 don't let it get in there. Yes, yes. Come, come on this side. Look how that rod is bending where it broke. I'm the jig head. Just a lighty, just a small guy. Tell me when I need to get... Come Came on. off. Came off. Got my jiggy right here. Yeah. Nice. David's got another one. This is not fair. He's on the third. Get out from that other one, otherwise we'll go into that other one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's a monster. Okay, I see him. He's a big one. Yeah, hold this, Murray. I'll put it... Never mind, I'll put it down. Big. Don't let it get off. It's not that big. I'm a friend. Okay, it's not a friend. Like a pony. Ah. Yeah. What's going on in the rocks? I can feel David, you're wasting my time. I want to catch a fish. Oh. I haven't caught a fish in a couple of months. No, 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 no. Bring him in quickly. I hope he... <laughs> <laughs> it's going over the log. Come here, come here. Quickly. Is it over the log? No. Come here quickly. It's under the log. It's under the log. Sheesh, guys. This is... It, 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 it doesn't look like it's fine. It doesn't... It's not big, but it's just like... <laughs> yes, my Joshua, dog is coming. tight. I'm coming. No, come back. I don't know what to video. Triple on. <laughs> Triple on us. Come back. Yes. Okay, Josh, I want you to snip this food. Got it. Right. Mine is in. Mine is out. Mine is Take your fish. Take your fish. Take your fish. I can't. I need a booger grip. No, just me. I'm trying. Oh, it bit me. You got it. That's no. Ah, oh, it's too heavy. Just get it, David. It's too heavy. Oh, no, it actually, I now. haven't got it, Josh. I have not got it. I repeat, I have not got it. Don't be a sissy. Get it untangled. Yeah, quickly. Ah. Oh, it's just baby hooked. Just yeah, baby hooked. I can't. The sink Mine is, is stuck. Bigger. Mine is bigger. Oh, that's a blue kerpa. Low kerpa right there. Guys. Okay, then Marie. Marie, just, just hold I on. I hope you lose it, right? <laughs> yeah, if you if it snaps off while you're hand catching him, it's, it's not my fault. It's okay, I'm cutting off the sink, okay? No, if you cut off that sinker, you will die. So then you sort it out then. Okay, I will. I'm going to catch this one by hand. Here, Murray, bring it here. Okay, it's safe there. It's in the rocks. Just a little guy. Just a little blue kerpa. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Look at that. How many fish? Nice fish there by David. I need the book 
have to shut up, Marie. What? This one has a red eye. Okay, can I have the boogie drop? Oh. Whoa, can I have the boogie drop? Yeah, release. So this is like a, a one kg. Wow. Yeah. Very pretty. Hold it up nicely so we can see. This thing. Yeah, that doesn't work. This thing doesn't work. Yeah. It's Just like release it. Okay. Hold it up one more time. They go very pretty. You can see the blue on it. Yeah, release it. Okay, I'm going. I passed out. Yeah, I'm getting right. No. Blow it up. No, no. Make your rod jump up, 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 so you can get it over the log. It's out. It's a monster. If it snaps my line again, I'll be so angry with it. It's probably gonna. No, it's still on. If it comes off, because the jig head hook is so tiny, I'll also be angry. Please pass me the net. Wait, can you come get it? No, I'm... Hey, you guys are fake. I've landed all your fish. Murray, it's your turn. Oh, I've landed... Uh, you haven't even landed anyone's fish. I've landed thing. your fish. Which one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fourth one. Fine, I'll land it, Josh. No, it's fine. I can do it. Oh. Oh, Josh, let me land it. Land, move on. Get it, get it, get it, get it. It's big, it's big. It's big. Oh, it's so scale, heavy. Actually, if you want. A proper scale. Electrical. Let's test it. Oh no, that thing is huge. Let's test the electric scale. I think my first one is about that size. What do you reckon, Jay? Let's test the first one. But when they get super big, they have like a red rim around the eye. That looks like the one that I caught off the damn wall. <laughs> okay, so can you get the net? I mean, the... What's that thing? Do you the... think it's free? I don't reckon. No. Fish on. Oh, this is not free. Uh, 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 pull it out, pull it out, pull it out! Oh, you failed. You're useless, man. Nostal's right? making that weird... Useless! I caught way more than you! Because I let you! What do you think? This one's big. No, it isn't. This is a weak. An unmanly. Oh, I just saw it. Oh, I just saw it again. I'm casting. No, no, wait, wait. Ah. Ah. Okay, I don't want to weigh it. It's a massive one. Let's just accept that. Yeah. It's a real monster. I don't need to weigh it. Because it doesn't matter. It's just a monster, you know. Beautiful, big monster fish. Just a true monster. Oh my god, I need to go fishing again. <laughs> Bye bye little buddy. And we go from releasing one to netting another one. Oh, I missed it. Where'd it go? It's right huge. <laughs> what do you mean? It's big. It's not huge. on the side. Where'd it go? Right under you. Oh. So I think it's in the rock. Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay, guys, this is just um, unbelievable. Okay, I'm actually gonna get the way on this one. But that it's one's small. Uh, that it's thing small. Is not breaking too easy. If we see one that's breaking a record, then we have to get the way. It's not big. It's not, not big. fat enough. No, it's not, it's not big enough. It's like two and a half. It's like five pounds. Sorry, Zoo. Sorry. You haven't broken through. Oh, it's bitten. It's so deep. You yeah. hate that thing. Oh. It owed it all the way down there. Look at that. You just get it up. Please. Oh, no. I'm on three, Mari's on six. No, no. Five. I think it's six. I'm also on three. Oh yeah, I'm on six. I'm on six. You want me to release? Um, can I hold him and see how heavy I do this quick? Wait, let me just... Guys, can I'm you scared like of holding it. Like, you like can't fishing. hurt a fish. Like. Okay, so guys, that is nice fish. Nice, can big fat one. Like Fatty. <laughs> He goes beautiful fish. Six fish by Murray. Totally insane. You got it off. Yeah, it's out. Well, not properly. So guys, this is how you catch bream. Yeah, first you have to on the clay. You don't. Want, you'll dry it too tight. You just want it. You also want to play the fish. You just don't want to reel it in. It drags it. You just want to play it. 
Mm -hmm. Ride like that to this tent back to the I'm gonna do GT fish and me. I'm gonna throw it out back here. Beautiful green. So gonna, why don't you work on your booger grips? Because the booger grips are bad. The, way, the scale on the booger grips is bad quality. It's not big enough to make it. No. I'm gonna try out here on the deeper water. There you go. Nice fish. Marry beautiful fish there. You got you got it, huh? Yeah. Okay. Another beauty. Another beautiful fish there, release him. Okay. I'm gonna turn back like I did. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned some tips on catching big bream. Please like and subscribe to this is to Africa Outdoors, and remember to check us out on Instagram. The link is down below.